So if we do the same thing, why don't you take a minute, see if you can plot that B, and then we'll talk about our slope RM. So you should have plotted our B at negative 5, right? This is a negative 5, so it should have been down here. Now, as far as our B is concerned, right, some of you are going to be like, well, it's not a fraction, right? I don't have that rise over that run, so do I rise to and run to? Like, what is going on here? So remember, if I turn this 2 into a fraction, what number would go underneath the 2? A 1. So this is actually going up two boxes and write one box. Up two boxes and write one box. Okay, and remember I said do as many as you can. The more points you can get on the graph, the better that graph is going to be. And some of you, oh gosh darn it, see some of you are not going to need that extra piece of um, those dots, right? You're going to be pretty quick to know where the dot should go. And if you can do that, that's perfectly fine. So this is going to be one where we were able to get a lot of dots on the graph, which is kind of nice. Oopsies. I am struggling. Okay, there we go. So this is why you do math and pen, right? That way if you make some mistakes like I am, you don't have a messed up graph. All right, what I want you to do is I want you to try to do number four. Pause the video, see if you can do it, and then come back and see how you did. Welcome back. We should have had our point at positive two for our B. If you did not get that, erase your graph, try it again. If you did get that, then let's keep going. So from there, we should have fallen one, two, three, and ran one, two, three, and four. Fallen, oh, we're not going to get any more on this, are we? One, two, three, one, two, no. Okay, so for this one, we can only get two, and that is A-okay. A-okay. Okay, so remember those ones that when we were doing it, finding slope from the graph before break, right? We had ones where you're like, well, Mrs. Sherman, there's a bunch of different options, and then some of them, there were only two. So this would be, you know, one of those times. All right. For this one, why don't you start by plotting the point for your B? Great job. Now, some of you are going to be like, I already know what the slope is. Some of you are going to be like, it's an X. What does that even mean? So remember, kind of like how we talked about number three, we've talked about this as well. When you do not see a number in front of X, what does that mean? It is like an invisible one, right? What goes underneath that invisible one? A one. So that's kind of like saying, okay, I'm going to rise one and run one. Rise one, run one. Rise one, run. Okay, you got this, you got this. Great job so far. 